What is going on guys? Welcome to week 7 of the WBE. We're coming off a win streak of 5. We've been doing pretty damn good so far. Uh, we actually have ourselves a pretty scary matchup this week. Uh, we're matched up against the South Texas Sableyes and this guy has himself quite the team. I am worried about he has Zapdos. Uh, he also has the Mega Charizard X. So uh, honestly I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do too well in this one. But all we can really do is try our best and kind of see what happens. So... Um, I think I'm pretty prepared for this, I hope at least, but uh, again, you know, anything can happen here, and we're just going to kind of pretty much just see how this goes. He's actually, I believe, undefeated, so he's in the top, uh, I think he's in first or second place in the league so far, so uh, this man going to make some good plays. We're just going to see uh, if our team can come through for us yet again, so that's the team we're working with here. It didn't change a whole lot up. I changed a little bit in terms of movesets, but for the most part... We're working with our uh, our solid our A squad here, and I'm pretty confident in these guys. I know that Mega Gyarados does pretty well against his team. Uh, it all kind of depends on who he wants to lead off with. So uh, I'm really hoping that he doesn't lead off with Zapdos, because I would like to get Mega Gyra out there early, uh, get that Mega Evo going, and uh, all right, let's see what he got. So he brought the Charizard X, obviously. He has the Kingler, Tauros, Thicky Minaj, which is the uh, Jinx got that young Frostitute, and he's got the Zapdos and the Rhydon. So, uh, in terms of lead, I only really see uh, Zapdos or Rhydon as his options here. I would like to go Mega Gera, but honestly, it seems kind of risky, because if he goes Zapdos, we're uh, just really not in a good spot. But I, I think he's going to expect me to want to go with Sandslash. I think Mega Gera is probably... Uh, our best lead because he doesn't have a whole lot that can switch into an attack from this thing. So I think that's probably what we're going to have to go to go for. Uh, unfortunately, if he does decide to go for Zapdos, we're going to be forced to take a lot of damage. And that is not going to be good for us at all. So I think let's just go ahead and start off with our buddy Shrimp here. And uh, let's hope that he expects me to go with Cold Cuts. If he leads Rhydon, we're in a great position. Uh, I would really like to get up Stealth Rock against him as well. Uh, Stealth Rock does good against the Zapdos. If we can catch that Charizard coming in before uh, it Mega Evolves, that would be really great. We can get that thing with some solid damage. But let's just go with Mega Gera and uh, hope for the best here. So I am really afraid of his team. Tauros does a lot. Uh, Jinx is super fast. I noticed he actually didn't bring his Gengar, so that's kind of a good thing for us. It looks like uh, once the Jinx is kind of taken care of, at least... Uh, Dragonite might be able to do some solid damage, although the Charizard X is kind of scary. So he's actually going to lead off with Tapatio, which is going to be his Charizard. So he wants to get this Mega off early. Uh, this is actually perfect for us. I was really hoping he was going to do that, uh, expecting the Alolan Sandslash. So that's great. This puts us uh, in a pretty solid spot here. Um, I can go ahead, and he is forced to Mega Evolve turn one. I don't know if he's going to do that. So this gives us a couple options. I can just go right for a Waterfall. Uh, he doesn't have much that really wants to switch into that, which I think is probably uh, a really good option for us. I was thinking about Thunder Waving, but I think Waterfall is probably going to be our best bet here. Uh, he is actually just going to switch out, so that's good. The next time this thing comes in, we can maybe try to catch uh, that thing with some Stealth Rock damage, which would be fantastic. So he just goes right into uh, the Zapdos here. And that's actually decent for us because now we're able to get a little bit uh, free damage off on this thing. We get our Mega up, so now we're not four times weak to Electric, obviously. And uh, this waterfall should do... Ooh, it does over half. So that is great. If we can take out the Zapdos early, uh, I would, I'm going to be extremely excited. He is going to be able to hit us with a Thunderbolt here. It's going to do about 75% uh, damage. So I don't know if it's worth us trying to switch here. Uh, I mean, I would, like to ra I would rather kill the Zapdos than try to switch and then have him get off some roosts and stuff later. Uh, because I don't have anything, anything faster than this to be able to really do too much. So I think we're just going to stay in here and we should probably just go right for a waterfall. Uh, luckily there we got the lead prediction correct. So he just goes right for the T-Bolts. As long as there's no crit here, Zapdos, Fatash should be able to take that as we do. And we're able to get off a waterfall and that is going to take out his Zapdos turn two. So that's great. The only bad news is now that uh, our best Pokemon against his team is very whittled down. But then again, that Zapdos was great against my team as well. Um, Honestly, I had nothing that really wanted to take two attacks from that. So, uh, getting rid of the Zapdos is pretty great. Now he has uh, a decision to make. He's probably going to end up going into the Tauros here. Yeah, that is the Tauros. Uh, it's the only thing that's really faster than me and wants to 
uh, knock me out with like a double edge. So I could go cold cuts. I kind of want to save this thing for stealth rock. I know that uh, it's probably not worth just going right into this. I honestly, this is a tough decision here. Um, I think. Mm, I think Arcanine is probably my least important Mon to have at this point. Um, so I might just sack this thing off. Although then again, I don't know if it's even worth keeping around Mega Gyarados at this health. Uh, it's really just not looking too good uh, health-wise. I honestly... But then again, I really don't know if Tony is even all that useful. You know what? I think we should pro... I think, honestly, I'm just going to stay in here. We're going to make some quick decisions. I'm just going to go right for... Um, Let's actually just Thunder Wave. He's going to end up knocking me out here. Oh, he actually makes a double switch. He's going to make a prediction here. And he goes back into the Charizard. So we end up making a great play. We do land the Thunder Wave, which is amazing against the Charizard. So it's looking like right off the bat, we actually got pretty lucky there. And that I was ready. To, I was fully ready to sack off Mega Gyarados just because I figured uh, this thing wasn't really fast enough to be able to do much. But that is great. I'm um, not really sure what he was expecting me to bring in. Probably... I was thinking about going into Alolan Sand Slash, but then I figure after taking damage, uh, he would be able to just knock me out with an Earthquake. So I didn't end up doing that, but it worked out great for us because now he brings in the Charizard, and now we are free to click Waterfall here. Getting a Thunder Wave off on this thing is actually super close. Oh, I should have. I did not mean to click Waterfall. I should have clicked Earthquake. What am I thinking? Damn it. Okay. Well, he because he's forced to Mega Evolve there. Um, that was a little bit of a fuck up on my end. Hopefully we get a Parahax. That would actually be fantastic. So we are faster. I uh, might get a Waterfall Flinch, which would be kind of funny. But, uh, yep, no, he's just going to break through an Outrage. So, had I Earthquake there, we would have been able to get a lot more damage. Um, but, at least we're able to whittle that thing down quite a bit. He's locked into Outrage at this point, uh, which is nice. And he is going to be slower than if I decide to bring in Tiny Wings. I don't want to lock myself into Outrage, because he does still have that Jinx. So, um, him being... I'm just probably going to go into Goro here. I think it's probably my best option. He doesn't have a whole lot that he can bring into Machamp. Um, so I can just go ahead and get an Earthquake off here. He's locked into Outrage. Uh, getting that Thunder Wave off was super clutch. So Gyarados, although it didn't knock out too much of his team, it did put us in a pretty good position here. So um, we're just going to go for Earthquake. I ended up putting Super Power on this Machamp in case he decided to bring uh, his Amistar. I did not want to get Shell Smash swept. So that's why I have Super Power that would do way more than Low Kick. So... We're able to knock out the Zard X, and we're looking pretty solid here in that uh, two of his biggest threats are now out of the way. So he could go into Jinx here and hit us with a Psychic, which I do believe we actually live, um, which would be pretty good for us. Then we can get a hard-hitting uh, superpower. Although it would be really nice to save Machamp for that uh, that Tauros is actually what I'm really worried about. So he is going to go into um, the Thicky Minaj here, and uh, I'm thinking probably he might even just Lovely Kiss here. So, this thing's pretty damn scary. I think we should probably go... Hmm, fuck. I could go into Alolan Sand Slash here. Um, if he decides to Lovely Kiss. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, we could try to get up Stealth Rock here. I really don't know what this Jinx is going to want to do. I'm mean, assuming probably just Psychic. Uh, he's probably going to want to play it safe here. Noticing that he's made... So, oh, he does actually Lovely Kiss. Okay, well, he puts us to sleep. Um, that's not that bad for us, really, um, unless, does this thing even get Nasty Plot in this game? I really, I really don't know. Does Jinx get Nasty Plot here? Well, we're gonna go ahead into Arcanine here, I think is the only thing we can really do. I don't want to stay in here sleeping. Uh, Cold Cuts being asleep is pretty nice for us, because now he can't put anything else to sleep. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get up Stealth Rock, but it was only really there for, he's gonna reflect. Stealth Rock was only really useful against the Charizard and the Zapdos, so um, he sets up a Reflect there, which is interesting, and I think he might switch into the Kingler. Either way, I think actually Will-O-Wisp is probably our safest option here. Um, I do actually have Flamestower. I, I might have actually... I, brought, I, I ended up bringing the wrong Arcanine, I think. Or maybe I'm, I don't even know. Um, I'm just going to click Will-O-Wisp here. If he decides to go into Kingler, we're looking pretty solid there. Getting a burn off on that is going to make it pretty much useless. He does go Bubba, which I'm hoping is... Okay, it's the Rhydon. Well, Will-O-Wisp is actually great for this thing too, so... Better to not just go for a Flare Blitz there with the Reflect Up. We could have actually Flamethrowered. That actually works out. No, I meant to bring... For some reason, I, I switched my Arcanine a couple times. I ended up going with the Mixed Attacker one. 
But we get a Will-O-Wisp off on the Rhydon, which is fantastic. And now we can, uh, we don't really want much to do with Tony being in here. I do want to conserve Machamp. Like I said, it's good against that Tauros. Um, and it does well against the Kingler also. I could just go into Tiny Wings. He probably doesn't have much to hit me with here. Although, I would need to set up an agility to be able to outspeed the, uh, you know, let's go for that. Let's go into, let's go into, uh, Dragonite here. It's looking like we're in a pretty good position to potentially just set up an agility. I assume he's going to want to set up his Stealth Rock here. Um, yep, he's just going to go right for the Stealth Rock. So we're able to bring in Dragonite for free. And uh, the only bad news here is if I set up an agility... You know, I knew I should have put Roost on this damn thing. I think it's going to take us two Outrages to knock this thing out. But uh, you know what? Let's just go for the agility. I think that if we can get... Dragonite fast enough to be able to outspeed the Jinx of the, uh, the, uh, the Tauros. That's going to be great. So, he actually has Ice Punch on his Rhydon, which is insane. I did not expect Ice Punch at all. Okay, Rhydon gets Ice Punch. Well, um, through the burn, we're able to live that. Although, unfortunately, I don't think an Outrage is going to be able to knock this thing out at this range. So, that kind of sucks with the Stealth Rock being up. Tiny Wings is kind of useless at this point. We're just going to click Outrage here. Uh, it's really our best option. So Rhydon pulled a fast one on me there. Ice Punch Rhydon. This man is prepared. Jesus Christ, that Outrage did it way less than I even thought it was going to. My God. That did absolutely nothing. I, I wish I had... I should have put Roost on this Dragonite. In preparation, I did have... Roo oh, it's because of the fucking Reflect. I, in preparation, I did have Roost on that Dragonite, which would actually have been extremely good there. But of course, we don't freaking have it. So, <laughs> so that sucks. But... Uh, now I think LL Cruel J is probably my best option. It's really the only oh, best option here to go into. We can just knock this thing out with a Scald. I don't think he'll want to save this Rhydon. It being uh, burned in all that. We're just going to go right for a Scald here. And knock this thing out. Although I'm just worried about... Then the Jinx gets to come in. Or the Tauros actually gets to come in and finish me off with an Earthquake. This is going to be a very close match. And I think I definitely misplayed there on uh, Dragonite there. He's actually going to end up going into his Jinx, as unfortunately does not get to come in and take Stealth Rock damage. We do get a Scald off. It does a bit of damage there. Don't get the burn, but that's a-okay. Um, he's going to definitely try to just go right for a Psychic here. I could go into Cold Cuts, but then we're just asleep and there's really not much for us to do. I can't hard switch into Tony because then we take Stealth Rock damage and then if he Psychics, we take a lot. Uh, so we are forced to just stay in here. We're going to go right for a Sludge Bomb. And uh, LL Cruel J is going to be able to take this Psychic because we are specially defensive as hell. If we could get a Poison on this Sludge Bomb, that would be fantastic. And we do, which I guess really didn't matter in the long run that much. But, I mean, it is still pretty nice having that. Okay, so Tentacruel goes down here. Um, but then again, that Rhydon is just still there. Which we might have. We're going to have some trouble against that Rhydon for sure. But, uh, yeah, we just have to click Sludge Bomb again. I think I really should have, uh, I should have played my Dragonite way better. I don't know why I ended up going into that thing with the Reflect Up. That was a misplay on my end, but that's, that's okay. All right, so this thing is going to go down to Poison next turn. So we could actually just go right into Sand Slash, I think is probably the best thing to do here. Uh, he is going to be able to hit us with an attack, but we can actually just try to wake up and Ice Shard it, which I don't know if it'll really matter too much. I don't think we're going to be able... We're going we're gonna to try anyway. Wake your sleepy ass up, Sand Slash. He might even save this Jinx. It still has an attack left on us. Um, being faster than pretty much anything? No, he's just going to stay in. Well, we unfortunately don't wake up. He is able to get a, a, ref, a free Reflect up, which sucks. But, I mean, I did get lucky in having that poison anyway. So, the Jinx goes down to the poison. That's, uh, that's a dead Frosted too. And he's down to Kingler, Tauros, and Rhydon. And that Reflect being up is super bad for us, matter of fact. That, uh, is gonna hang around for five turns. I, I, Machamp at this point is our best thing we've got. And he really kind of sucks because, ooh, he's gonna actually set up. Well, doesn't really matter if he sets up with this thing, if it's faster anyway. Um... Well, we'll be able to be faster than Arcanine after it's, if it goes for an agility. 
But then again, Arcanine doesn't would have much to hit it with anyway. We could Will O' Wisp, I guess. But um, so shit, yeah, this sucks. If Kingler, we would ordinarily be able, able to outspeed, but he's for sure gonna go for a a uh, an agility here. Um, I think we just Swords Dance. If we end up waking up and getting up a Swords Dance, that would be great. So yeah, there's the agility. That is a fast crab, and that is scary. So if we could wake up, that'd be great. Nope, we're still sleeping. Well, damn. Okay. At least the only good news about this is that it's burning uh, reflect turns. So, I mean, that's at least good news. But still, in the long run, this is not looking good for us. But we can just go for an EQ here. Uh, he's going to go for a crab hammer. Does connect. And uh, cold cuts. Damn it, still sleeping. That fucking lovely kiss, man. Worked out super well for him, because we do need to be able to get some damage off on this thing if we have any chance of knocking it out with uh, Machamp. Connects on another Crab Hammer. Unfortunately, we do go down there, and I don't think there is much of a chance for us here, guys, which really does suck. We have to go into Machamp here. Um, with that Reflect up, we're not going to be able to do too much with Super Power, which is quite unfortunate. Uh, it is faster than us, and I think it two hit KOs with Crab Hammer. Kingler is a fucking threat, man. That... Man, that's uh Hmm, that reflect being up really kinda sucks. I don't want a superpower to lose my attack. Damn, I honestly I'm considering if I should have just gone into Tony and let this thing go down so that way Goro had a free ma uh, matchup without the reflect up. Either way, I do think we lost this, unfortunately. Um it looks like I mean, I really just have to go for a superpower, but then again, with the reflects up, and then Arcanine just goes. Yeah, I mean, either way, I think I lost this match. I have to go into Arcanine here. Uh, we're gonna take a crab hammer and die, but that is okay. I knew this was gonna be a tough matchup. We actually had some pretty good luck early on, but uh, I ended up doing. We were able to. <laughs> we were able to avoid that crab crab hammer there. That would have been really nice if that happened uh, on a turn. I was going for will o -Wisp, but he connects on the next one. You're bound to pretty much miss a grab hammer if you're going for it consist consistently. It actually, I think it has like 75 accuracy or 80 accuracy or something, but all right. Well, it all comes down to Goro here. It is Goro against the world. He does still have that ride on who can take, uh, can definitely take attacks. We're kind of forced to go for superpower here. So putting superpower on this move set um, Kind of didn't work out for us too well. Uh, we could actually go for a bulk up here. If he ends up missing a crab hammer, we're okay. If we misses a crab, missed a crab hammer, that would have been really good for us. But unfortunately, he does not. Uh, so, kind of last ditch effort there, going for bulk up would have been great had he missed that first crab hammer. But um, so that kind of sucks. Now we're just forced to go for uh, bulk up superpower is kind of a strange move set considering I just lose my attack boost. Uh, so he goes for that one more, and uh, that is, is actually going to knock us out with a crit. I don't think that would have killed us. Um, do the defense boost without a crit, but we're gonna end up taking this one with a loss, and he beats us 3-0. So uh, that's unfortunate. We lose for the first time in five weeks. I, I definitely could have played that better, but I honestly thought I had it in the early game. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button on this video, and uh, I will see you guys later. Peace out.